actually like launch a game on it? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Like I said, I'm not uh, super good with the controls yet. But we can go back here. I mean, this is one of the things about the OnLive platform is, is that, you know, the developers just have to port once. And then it's available to it. Sometimes we have to figure, help them figure out the controls that are appropriate. Right, right. But I can go into Borderlands here. Now, is this being streamed over the Wi-Fi here, or is this over the 3G Yeah, your this iPad? totally shouldn't work here right now. Right, right. Um, wireless. <laughs> have to wait for the videos. Right. But yeah, this is over, um, over the wireless we have here. Using all virtual controls for everything with this? Sure. Yeah, okay. The box is coming. Now, unfortunately, I haven't got this character past the tutorial. Oh, yeah. So it starts off, I can move around a little bit, but you have to listen to the robot talk. You're also not going to be able to hear the audio unless you put it way up to your ear. Yeah, of course. Because it's so loud. You'd have a headset, I guess, if you wanted to do this. This is one of my friends just created a brag clip. You get the same type of experience of notifications as you would on any other of the other devices. So the little robot's talking to me now, giving the tutorial. I can look around. Just have to get, if I want to look around slow, I move the stick a little bit. Look around fast, move the stick like that. This is the part that I haven't trained a lot on yet. And in a second, my HUD will come up and then I can actually start to move around. But just like him, I can bring up the overlay here. You can do messaging, same way. Sorry, I keep getting through the no, video. Okay. This guy sent me a friend request, I'll just go down, I'll friend him. And again, this is the same experience I'm going to have if I use my same login on a PC or a Mac or when the micro console comes out, the exact same thing. Obviously the controls will be a little different. Right, right. Almost through the tutorial. I love this game, but the start, once you've been through it a couple yes, of times. exactly. And there we go. Now we're found the little robot. Oh, I'm failing to use the controls very well. Let's see. This is all me, actually. There we go. Over the little robot. As far as tech demos go, you know. No, yeah, so, it's a yeah, really I'm good tech demo. Really it's just, so, you know, it's probably not a good game for virtual controls, you know. I think it's really close, actually. Ooh, think so? Yeah, yeah. Borderlands actually is normally playable with. Um, with, uh, I've, I've played like 120 hours of Borderlands, and it's really close. I haven't played 120 hours though on this though. Right, right. <laughs> so, so can you load uh, Dragon Age just for fun? Uh, yeah, sure. And this is all connecting from Los Angeles here to your data center uh -huh. and everything else? Yep. Yeah, it's on the same thing. I mean, you can tell it's totally tied into our production network because right, right, right. we're seeing our beta users, we're seeing people on the floor here. I'm trying to think, so Dragon Age actually doesn't have gamepad support, so this will be somewhat interesting oh, okay. to see how it works. So now what's going to happen like uh, when this is finally released, is there going to be games that will you'll only be able to play on the iPad or will they just like load it's up and really not really work? It's really up to the publisher. Okay. You know, like we didn't have, the iPad's a tech demo, so the publisher didn't know that it was a target platform, right? right? right. So. Well, I guess what I'm asking though, what, like will they be able to switch off certain platforms is like this game just flat out will not be available on it or? If they have a business deal or whatever that keeps them from need, from being able to offer on a particular platform, absolutely. Okay. There's whole controls for all of the ways that it interacts with the service. Let's see. Oh, I obviously don't have a safe game. Uh... <laughs> okay, so right now, you know, is there another game that works better to turn? No. Okay. I don't know. And, uh, let's see. This is an amazing tech demo, though. I mean, even though like that's not working, like holy. Yeah, God. it looks really good too. Let's see. Here. I mean, Unreal Tournament's gonna have that same. I'm gonna be bad at the controller, and so probably better off staying out of the games for right now. Okay. 
I mean, like, so, but so, you can you can watch anyone in any game right from the iPad, yep. right? Okay. You want to bring up some more of those? Like, so it's like, can you find someone that's playing at home right now? That well, I don't actually know for sure. Okay. Um, but I can tell you, Polecat is probably one of our beta users. Okay. Um, because he's not a kiosk person. So, and he's there playing Dragon Age. Looks like he has the game paused now. Maybe yeah. he's going to answer the phone or something. <laughs> um, let's see who this is. Cheese Toaster. Nice. Yeah, nice names. They're playing Just Cause 2. And now, is it, the pricing for the iPad is going to be the same as all the other stuff? Like, it's just it not. The board, or? It's a tech demo. We have no idea if this will ever be in the Apple Store or okay. anything. We're not showing this as a product that we've released at all. Right, We're using this as an example of just what happens when, you know, there's another platform that just came out, right. how quickly and easily it is able to port a client to that platform that you can access all the same stuff on as any of the other clients. Right, right. Awesome. It's more about, it's, a, it's like a ubiquity demo rather than an iPad demo. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? So, service is in the cloud, this is just a portal. That's right. right. Oh, that's one of the other kiosks. These are all portals. Yep. You're good, yeah? Yeah, totally. Here's a guy in Borderlands who just this started so out. Mean. Oh, I know where this is. He's almost through the second gate. Yeah, tutorial for him. Oh, this guy's uh, uh, some videos there. This is uh, another one of the UT3 players fighting bots or multiplayer. Uh, Splinter Cell. This, I don't think this is a kiosk either. This yeah. is probably a beta user. I'm wondering if they know that they're going to be, uh, <laughs> if they're being watched by a lot of people. Cool. So that's about it. that's about what the uh, iPad client does uh -huh. currently. Uh -huh. so awesome. Well, that's great. Working on the iPad. So there you are.